My dad was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 1964 when he was 19 years old. Having a father that was type 1, it was always kind of in the back of your mind. By the time I was born, my dad, I think his health started declining. He was legally blind by age 35. At age 38, he was really in progressive renal failure and on dialysis. At age 40, he underwent a kidney transplant. Around age 55, he had a heart attack. A year later, his first leg was amputated. A year after, his second leg was amputated. And then at age 58, he was diagnosed with end-stage colon cancer and passed away. Technically, he passed away from colon cancer, but everything was attributed to type 1 diabetes. And then at age 21, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And the immediate reaction was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be my father. It brought me to my knees. I think the similarities between my dad's type one and my type one were probably more of that mental sitting on your shoulders all day, every day. He was diagnosed at 19, I was diagnosed at 21. We were diagnosed at very similar ages, but when you talk about management and day-to-day -day life with type 1, it's entirely different. And that is 100% due to research. The artificial pancreas in the trial that I'm participating is a continuous glucose monitor and a insulin pump. Basically, the continuous glucose monitor transmits information into this algorithm and then transmits information to the insulin pump and says, insulin pump, deliver this much insulin. And it does that every five minutes. So this is probably the most exciting part of the trial when I get to eat. Typically before I would eat, I would count the carbs, check my blood sugar with my glucometer, enter that information into my pump, and then I would allow my pump to uh, give myself insulin. So get so excited when I get to just sit down and not check my blood sugar and not count carbs and not think about anything. I just get to eat a meal like people who aren't type 1. You know, to look at my father's life and, and what he had to myself participating in clinical research of an artificial pancreas. I don't the words can't Words don't describe that. <laughs>